Hey everybody, welcome back to another Solar Saturday here on Why Not RV. This week we're going to talk about the difference between series and parallel connections. Remember, if you want to learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button, drop a like and a comment down below. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Now this is in hopes just for you to understand the difference between series and parallel connections. I'm not going to talk specifics on, you know, if you should be wiring your solar panels in series or parallel. I have a different video already on that. I'll go and link that up here. Um, same thing with your batteries. If you're considering going with a 24 volt or 48 volt system, this is where the series versus parallel starts to come in. But we're not going to talk about the specifics to that. I'm just going to talk about the difference between series and parallel and how to connect them each way. The biggest difference between a series and parallel connection is that when you're connecting something in series, you're increasing the voltage, but the amperage stays the same. And when you're connecting something in parallel, your voltage stays the same, but you're increasing the amperage. Pretty simple, but I'm gonna take you on a piece of paper and kind of draw it out and hopefully explain a little bit better. We have two 12 volt batteries, okay? So if you wanna make or test this with a multimeter for 12 volt, you connect the negative to the negative side and the positive to the positive side and it gets 12 volts. So what happens is when you take your positive of one battery and you connect it to the negative of your next, this is called a series connection, okay? Now, if you take your multimeter and test your negative here and your positive here, you have 24 volts. Now let's assign some an amperage to these just to know and talk about okay so let's say these are both 100 amp hour batteries okay each are 100 amp hour batteries we have them connected in series which means our positive of one is connected to the negative of the other and now you have a main negative and a main positive that goes off for the rest of the system okay so this has increased our voltage to 24 volts but what about our amperage it has stayed the same this is a 100 amp hour 24 volt battery 100 amp hour 24 volt battery. Now let's do the same same scenario where we have a positive and negative, a positive and negative, and this is a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, and this is a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery, okay? Now, to connect in parallel, what you do is you connect your two positives together, right? And then you connect your two negatives together. This is called a parallel connection. The voltage has stayed the exact same because if you were to take a multimeter and take it to the negative of this side and the positive of this side or the negative here, positive here, negative here, positive, they're all connected. So it's still the exact same voltage. So the voltage does not, does not change. This is still a 12 volt battery. And again, this is a parallel connection. That's probably spelt wrong, but uh, parallel connection, all right? Now, what happens to the amperage? Well, now you've actually doubled your amperage. So now you have a 12 volt 200 amp hour battery and that's exactly what you've done now this exact same thing with both the parallel and the series applies to batteries solar panels applies to anything that's on a dc circuit because let's say these were these were solar panels and these were uh, 12 volt uh, 100 amp uh, solar panels okay which is not realistic but this is just for numbers sake okay so a 12 volt 100 amp solar panel and again, you connected the positives together and the negatives together, you would have a 12 volt, 200 amp output um, solar panel set, okay? Now, if we went back to our series connection, and these were solar panels, okay? Again, you have a, two 12 volt solar panels that are both at 100 amps each, and you connected the positive one into the negative of the other, and now you have a 24 volt panel, but you have uh, or, excuse me, you now have 24 volts of panel, but the 100 amps would stay the same. The amperage does not increase. And this is where we talk about how, you know, increasing your voltage on your, on your solar panels is great because you can carry more amperage down from the roof in a smaller cable because the amperage stays the same, but the voltage can keep going. You can add two more solar panels to this that again, let's just say they were, these were all 12 volt. And we connected our positive and our negative and our positive and our negative. And now we have a main negative and a main positive. Well, now we went 12, 24, 36, 48 volt. 
48 volts and still at the same exact 100 amps. Okay, and again, same thing going back to our parallel connection where you talk about this, if we were to add two more batteries or you know whatever we're calling these, if these are solar panels, batteries, whatever the case is. And these are 12 volt, 100, 12 volt, 100. And again, you connect all of your positives together. Okay, so positive to positive, all the way to the next positive, to the next positive, and you had your negatives connected, and your negatives connected, so now negative, 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 are all connected. This is still 12 volt system. Again, batteries, panels, whatever. This is still all at 12 volts because the positives and negatives are all tied in together, so they did not change the voltage, but the amperage has now gone up to one, two, three, 400 amps of energy. So let's say these were these were batteries and it's 400 amp hours. And this is where in in a typical RV setup, if you were to connect your batteries in parallel, you have, you know, say four 12 volt lithium batteries all at 100 amp hours. That's how you do a parallel connection. I'm trying to keep some of these short and sweet. So I hope you guys learned something. I hope that answers some people's questions about uh, series versus parallel connection, what the difference between them is and how to achieve each one. If you have comment or any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Why Not RV. Bye.